Hello, this is Rakesh Rao from Design Sense Software Technologies, Bangalore. In this GeoTools video, I'm going to show you how you can draw the dip and strike notations from a CSV file. Now, this is a CSV file in which the dip and strike information is shown in columns 5 and 6. So, you can see angle with horizontal, that is the dip angle and direction of borehole with respect to north, that is the strike. So, you have borehole mark in column 1, easting, northing and elevation in 2, 3 and 4 and then the drilled length as the 8th column. So, let us see how we can get this information into CAD using GeoTools. So, under GeoTools, under Geology and Mining, under Borehole Tools, we have Draw Borehole Strata or Lithology in different ways. Now, in this, we are going to choose the third option, which is Dip Strike and Strata Depths. It's a linear representation. So, this doesn't use hatches or blocks because the lithology or the mineral strata is not shown. Just the inclination and the direction of the borehole data is shown here. So, if you click on more info, you can get some more information about what this data structure is. So, required values are borehole number, easting, northing, elevation, dip angle, strike angle and drill length. Now, let us click OK here. Now, this is where you need to enter all the information. So, to begin with, we need to enter the borehole strata file. So, which I am going to choose from here. So, that is the borehole drill data.csv. So, if you go to edit button, you can see the structure as we saw it a little while ago. There is also this explain this button, which tells you again how the structure is defined. The next step is to specify the positions, which you need to enter very carefully. So, the name is column 1, easting is 2, northing is 3, elevations are 4, the strike is in column number 6 and the dip is in column number 5 and the drill length is in column number 7. GeoTools comes predefined with a number of blocks, so you can use any one of them. The mo and the most versatile one is Geol Borehole Block Caller. You can also specify different attributes into which the data must be stored. So, I am going to store the name in the BH name attribute, then Easting, Northing, Elevation which is reduced level, Azimuth, Dip and BH Depth is the drill length. So, I have mapped all the attributes to the different fields from the CSV file. Now, I am going to click OK. So, it has done it. You can see 66 objects created. So, let us do a zoom extend and now you can see all the different objects in 3D as well. So, let me just turn it around. So, I have rotated the view and you can see it now from a different view. So, if you zoom in here at the top, you have the borehole block with all the attributes and these lines represent the dip and strike direction. So, we are in the plan view now. Now, to make it clearer, I am going to create a quick tin surface around this. So, I am going to surfaces, create tin using 3D faces, that is fine. The longest side is probably this much, so that is ok. So, you can see now the entire boreholes have been joined together with a triangulated net. So, this will also help you to identify the influence areas and so on. So, this would give you a better view of the terrain. So, you can see the dip and strike angles for the, the various borehole locations. And if I am going to zoom in here, so this is the geol underscore bore underscore hole underscore block underscore color. And it has got all these attributes which have just now been populated. Now, you can do this in 3D as well. So, I am going to erase all of this, go back to geological and mining tools, borehole tool, strata in different ways, use this option again and I am going to create a 3D bore. So, create solid boreholes in 3D. So, let us say the borehole diameter is 3 and the inner thickness is 0 0.3, click on this. So, you can see that the boreholes have now been drawn in 3D. So, you can use this tool to either create just a symbolic straight line representing the borehole direction or you can model it in 3D also. So, modeling it in 3D is also often useful because it forms the basis on which you can further do tunnel modeling and so on. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.